Well, hi, Shannon. You know, certainly the ability to ship military-grade plastic explosive halfway around the world on commercial air cargo is a great concern. Whether that's a sign of growing sophistication or whether that's a reminder that air cargo is the weak link in air safety is unclear. This original plot was disrupted on July the 29th. The suspects had actually built the bomb, had taken it to the airport, but for reasons unknown had abandoned the plan before going through security. What we're now learning is that for more than three months prior to that, the two suspects, brothers named Khalid and Mahmoud Kayat, were being directed, instructed and supplied by an ISIS commander inside Syria. What's more, all the components needed for the airplane bomb, including the plastic explosives and devices needed to set it off, had been shipped to Turkey, uh, from Turkey to Australia by air cargo, probably in a passenger jet, allowing those brothers to build the bomb with instructions from the ISIS commander in Syria. Authorities have long known that ISIS has cells inside Syria whose specific aim is to plan attacks against the West, but this is just yet another real sign of their growing ambition. And now, as they lose territory, ISIS is clearly attempting to recruit abroad and carry out attacks wherever they can. And so this is yet another example of the sophisticated terrorist supply chain around the world. And you've got to ask yourself if they, if they were able to send explosives to Australia, where hell else have they sent them and what needs to be done uh, on airplane security to change that. Mm -hmm. Shannon? Very important questions. Benjamin Hall, Life Force in London.